Good morning, Evans. I am Preston, and this is Kenzie. And here is the Bulldog broadcast for Friday, March 10th, 2022. Today is cycle day one. On the lunch menu today, in the main lunch line is spaghetti with sauce, breadsticks, garden salad, peaches, and milk. In the cold line, you have a choice of lunch meat sandwich with cheese, chips, fruit, and carrots, or salad, fruit bowl, carrots, chips, and string cheese in the pizza line. They are serving pizza with fruit and vegetables. Here are some fun facts about bowling. Did you know the largest bowling league in the U bowling center in the U.S. is Las Vegas and is in Las Vegas, Nevada, and it's also the second largest bowling alley in the world. And you can you get a golden turkey when you bowl nine strikes in a row. And Reno, Nevada, is home to the to a bowling stadium. Yep, an actual stadium for bowling. Also, a and a bowling pin is required to be 15 inches high, and the highest game you can roll is a 300, and Mr. Cutsworth has three of them. What's a golden turkey? I have no idea. Ask Mr. Cutsworth. National Mario Day. People who grew up in the 1980s or the 1990s will sh be sure to know who Mario and his brother Luigi are. Mario and his younger fraternal twin brother are the most renowned characters of any Nintendo games. And they'll be thrilled to celebrate National Mario Day. But Mario Day is not just for avid gamers or for kids because they pretty much any they pretty much anyone can enjoy this the celebration if they know a little bit about Mario. In honor of National Mario Day, it would be great to brush up on a little Mario trivia and take a short walk through the history of his, of this enduring character. Na National Mario Day came about when it was noticed that when writing out the day March 10th, it just happened to spell out the name Mario. From that point forward, that the day seemed to take off. The character of Mario was first introduced in Nintendo's game Donkey Kong. He didn't even have his own feature game right away. When he originally appeared in the game in the early 1980s, Mario was not the plumber that would be recognized today. In fact, in the early days, his name was simply Mr. Jumpman, and he was a carpenter. To celebrate, get out and play some Mario Kart or whatever Mario game you enjoy the most. Here are your students of the week for March March 7th through March 11th. Congratulations and continue to show your Evans pride. Here's what happened today in history for March 10th. In 1862, U.S. issues first paper money is, is the form of 5, 10, 20, 50, 100, 500, and 1,000 notes. In 1876, the first telephone call, Alexander Graham Bell says, Mr. Watson, come here. I want, I want to see you. His assistant, Thomas Watson, and... 1971 U.S. Senate approves an amendment lowering votes voting to age 18. Any sixth grade student interested in applying for the Bill and Artist Evans Scholarship need to stop by the counseling office to pick up a scholarship application. The deadline for submission is April 22nd. It's April 1st, 20. 22. There is combined 7th and 8th grade band during 4th period. Any 6th grade student interested in track should stop by one of the offices, guidance, attendance, main, to pick up a registration form. The deadline for registration is April 1st. Cafe Murder Cast, please turn 
in ticket orders today to miss the war. Teachers, please lead our, please lead our students in the Pledge of Allegiance. Stay classy, Evans.